Live, this is News Channel 8 at 6 on your side. Tonight, a Bay Area religious community is bracing for new allegations and possibly more victims in a child molestation case. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Local families trusted their religious leaders to protect their children, but now they say they were let down. Tonight, a longtime member of the Sly Mosque is stepping forward with new allegations tied to an ongoing child molestation investigation. Eight on your side investigator Walt Buteau joins us now with details. This mosque insider tells me he loves his religious family, but he also says the only way to help the mosque heal is to release the truth. Former Sly Mosque Youth Director 52-year-old Ehab Gonim is charged with four felonies for allegedly molesting five children at his Pinellas Park home. Now a decade-long member of the mosque who called us says he will go public Tuesday with claims that will be submitted as part of one of the victim's civil lawsuits. The man described as a mosque insider alleges there are more victims. He claims mosque leadership failed to stop the alleged abuse, and we're told the insider will testify for the victim. And that failed them. When we broke this story in August, the victim's attorney, Sam Badawi, told us he suspected the number of victims would reach double digits. There are multiple families that approached the board at the leadership at Sly, and Sly failed act. The victim in the civil case alleges Goheim drugged him to put him asleep before allegedly molesting him. The lawsuit also names mosque youth leaders Saeed al-Albani and Arjan Abu Saad, alleging they were negligent in failing to supervise Ghanim. Many of the mosque families are refugees from war-torn Afghanistan, according to the mosque insider, who tells me they feel betrayed. When the story broke, Badawi claimed mosque leaders had years to stop the alleged abuse. We don't know for how long they knew about this, but it been probably a long time. The mosque and the two youth leaders named in the civil case as defendants have denied the allegations in court documents. The allegations are just awful. Absolutely. What do we expect to hear when this insider speaks out? So we're told he will offer some details about his sworn affidavit and also answer some questions from us. And we'll be there. That's tomorrow morning. And we'll let you know what happens tomorrow night. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Walt. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your site helpline. There's the number 1-800-338-0808.